Hi. So the question was, how do you say please in Korean? Um, and I assume the question is asking about please, sort of just to be polite and put, you know, at the end of a sentence. Could you pass me that please? Uh, can you please tell me where to go, just to be polite? And the answer to that is there's, they don't actually have a word for it. Um, the way Korean works, and it's sort of based on the Confucianist system, um, is that depending on you know your the where you fit into society, so age is sort of the biggest determining factor. Um, your the position at your job, okay, it puts you either higher or lower relative to a person, okay, in that sort of social ranking system. And based on that, you'll just you'll use different levels of um, you'll conjugate the verb into different levels of respect. Um, and this might not make a lot of sense now, but um, and this isn't necessarily a plug for my class, but if you do go to that, there should be around here a link to learnkoreanonline.net forward slash free vids. And you'll get the first four classes from my online class. And class three is the first one. The first two classes teach exactly how to read and write. Class three gets into the basic sentence using the most, one of the most common verbs, the verb to be. And in that class, I do the breakdown. For my class, to keep it relatively simple, I do three levels of, of respect. Uh, what I call the honorific, the common, and the casual. Okay? And so they won't have a, a specific word for please, but once you get involved in a little bit more Korean, and this is something that you can learn over time, um, but you'll learn, you know, which one, which level of respect do I speak in? Um, if the person's younger than you and, and you know them, you know, a lot of times you can go in the casual form. If you don't really know the person, but they seem around your age, you can keep it in the common form. These are just sort of very general guidelines for now. There's a lot of different determining factors. Uh, and then if it's someone, you know, it's quite older, you know, if it may be a principal at a school or something like this, and you know you want to be in the very, the high form, then you might speak in the honorific form. And I'll just give you a quick example now, and this is the same verb that we cover in class three, so you get a lot more detail there. The verb is ida, okay, and this is the verb to be. Um, so what they'll do is they'll take e and they'll put, and I'm not going to get into the rules of why um, the class gets into all that, but um, just to keep it short and simple now, imnida, okay, you may have heard that imnida, okay, simnida, it's this is a very common ending on a lot of honorific um, level sort of conjugated verbs. Um, so, imnida, the question, imnika, okay? Or, so here's our same verb, e, okay? Seo is a common honorific sort of ending. It's a question or a polite command. I don't know if you know the word to give. Give me, please, is juseo. Okay, and that seo is, is a quite honorific form of command or question. Anyways, dropping down to the common, we have the same root, okay, e. Okay, da just signifies it's a verb, okay? So when we're dealing with the verb, we drop that, okay? And then this is sort of what we, we work with, the part in front of the da, okay? So you'll, you'll notice that e for this verb are in all of them, okay? E, e, in e, okay? So in the common form, it'll be e, e, yo, okay? One thing about the common form is you'll hear that yo a lot, okay? Uh, and I'm writing in Korean. I don't do phonetics. Uh, if you don't know how to read and you want to learn Korean, I highly suggest that's the first thing you do. Uh, so go get those videos and learn how to read. Um, I won't do phonetics. I find it's a, a, it's a waste of time because it just makes it harder to learn Korean. Um, I'm just going to do everything in Korean. Uh, so if you don't know how to read, go learn and then come back to this video. Anyways, the yo. The yo is a very, very common ending, even in this one, seo. Okay, you can see it here. This is quite a high level of respect. Um, but the yo is a very a polite thing. Okay, so if you're not never quite sure, put a yo on the end and it'll, it'll keep it fairly uh, polite. And then the bottom one is ia. Okay, so this is a long answer to your question, but I just want to show you that, you know, there's no word. I wouldn't have to put a word in here for please. I would just have to know which level of respect to conjugate into. Okay? And this is one of you know this is one of the things that makes Korean I don't know, I wouldn't call it difficult, it's just memory work. Uh, and there's groups of verbs 
Um, that's what level two of my class is. It starts off by focusing on the groups of regular verbs and how they conjugate. Uh, and I don't think it's real difficult, but it does take some time to just, you know, work it out in your head and, and memorize it. Uh, but yeah. Now, there is another way of please, you know, in, in kind of a begging way. Please, 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 please. And there is a word for that, and that is jbal. J bal, okay? J bal. Um, but I assume that's not the one you're asking about, uh, but if you want it, it's there. I hope that helps. It's kind of a long answer to a short question, um, but yeah, they just don't have a please in that, in that respect. Um, it just depends on what level of you know, respect you conjugate into uh, that will keep it polite or rude or you know, appropriate. So hope that helps, and keep the questions coming. Cheers.